This government, this was public, published by the Political Action Committee, in, political research rather, Associates in Cambridge, Mass. Just, this is a very, became, very scary report. I'm sure but it is. These, know, these that's nasty, why I asked, ask where is the Rabbi, beef? Wait a second. Where, where is, is the beef? Rabbi, zip it for just a second. <laughs> Old Nazis, the new right, and the Reagan administration, these are people who are Nazis in the Reagan government, right? That is correct. Okay. Now, let me tell you Did why we, they're there. Now, let me ask you a question. Let me tell you why Let me ask there. you a question, all right? Yes. Did we publish a book like this during the Roosevelt administration, during the Truman administration, during the Johnson administration? Did we? No. How come? Why there were not? no Nazis there? No, not in the same Werner way. Werner von Braun wasn't a Nazi, sir? Werner von Braun huh? is a Nazi. Right, and we bought him correct. here. That to get is correct. Right. You're absolutely right. So there's right. a lot of that type of... Let me tell you going. why they're in the government. Why? Because we have a president who would not know the difference if they walked into the Oval Office between Groucho Marx and Karl Marx. He's an anti-communist. Ronald Reagan, during World War II, was wearing a uniform as part of the War Department. He was making films teaching... GIs, yeah, I, how to I know avoid syphilis and well gonorrhea. You do, all right? He has never been an anti-fascist. Well These people were brought into the government because they are terrific as Nazis, anti-communists, and have been able to pursue the Cold War policy. What about a Jew named Jesse are Jackson, you who's doing? in the Democratic Party? What, what have you, you done doing? against uh, him? Throw in the black stuff, create another racist backlash. No, I this fight is the way all anti-Semites. This is you guys right. now. Black. Wait Let me a second, say a word you about guys. Jesse Jackson. This is you yes. guys, you he guys saying we got 1962. Hey guys, settle it down. You go first, then Before you were born, I was arrested in Albany, Georgia with Martin Luther King Jr. Jesse Jackson was a young kid at the time. He was in disarray. He was in disfavor at that time. He's in disfavor at this time. But let me wait, make one statement about Jesse Jackson and his community. 25 years ago in South Carolina, in the United States of America, Jesse Jackson couldn't vote let alone run for president. And, and I think we have to keep that in mind. Are we going but to that get doesn't just you know, Let me tell America. you something. Let me tell you, a hundred years ago, an Irishman couldn't vote. Ninety years ago, a woman couldn't vote. You keep going back. Some of them couldn't read either. And some can't read now because this liberal government. I'll tell you what. Next, we'll cross-examine the man some call a radical and others call a damn fascist. Stay with us. Jersey, call 201-785-9071. Let me... Let us add... Let us add, we've already introduced you to Mordecai Levy of the Jewish Defense Organization. Rabbi Goldman, who you've met at the Center for Creative Jewish Living. Now let me introduce a gentleman who is uh, one of the survivors in the United States uh, from the Holocaust. And we were just talking about all the Christian survivors of the Holocaust, too, all right? This is John Rance. John, welcome to you. Mordecai, I want to start with you, pal, again first. Let's find out, before we go any further, uh, I think the audience would like to know, and I'd like to know, what is the Jewish Defense Organization? The rabbi says, where's the beef? Well, uh, don't go into all the pictures. We can't. You didn't no. still store them. We can't show them. It doesn't mean anything. Got a bunch of guys in uniforms. Wahoo! What is it? The Jewish defense. The Jewish. The Jewish defense organization basically believes that we teach Jews firearms. We have a regular class around the country. We teach them to use guns because I feel it's better to know how and not have to. Well, at least you're in a country where they haven't been collected yet. You know, like well, they were in God. Germany. I'm mm -hmm. very strong that everyone, um, Jewish and Teach them how to use knives, you know, switchblades. No, I, I think that people have a right to have a firearm and know how to use it, whether they're Jewish or not. People have the right to defend themselves. Okay, then uh, what is your credo? Our yeah. credo is, our slogan is to defend ourselves by any means necessary. And that basically means, obviously, there are times when peaceful means can work. Demonstrations, rallies. And there are other times that not such peaceful okay, means. Okay, I, I threw a firebomb at an empty Jewish synagogue. If listen listen to me, listen to me. You're around. You see that I threw it. I run like a son of a gun, right? You catch me. What do you do with me when you catch me? First of all... What, what do you do with me? What we would do with you is yeah. put a gun to that person's head who did that, yeah. threw that bomb. Mm -hmm. If they try to fight us, they would be shot in self-defense. What if they have no gun or anything with them? If they... Tr <laughs> then we... We would... 
he would call the police at that point. Now, you the guy's lying you didn't in the listen pool to what, what I said was, if, I said, if, listen well, if they put up a fight, which has happened, then I said we would be prepared if it came to a life-threatening situation. If he was armed, obviously. So, so what you're saying is you do not espouse violence. You espouse defense. Defense, in other right. words, and listen up. If someone, like the kids in Brooklyn whose father and the kid ripped off the father's gun to go shoot up a synagogue in Long Island in Westbury, and we caught him, that piece of trash would be found if he attacked the synagogue with weapons as dead as any corpse in the cemetery, like Malcolm X said. You mess with me, you mess with my people, you're messing with death itself. In other words, if you try to oh, kill us... Oh, man, is the talk is so... Okay, I got... Mordecai, Mordecai, honest to God. If honest it's self-defense, not if so, it's not self-defense. John... Well, let me come to you for just yeah. a second. I'm sorry. Sorry, I hope there's a fire bomb. What if it were a Jew or fire bomb? Then they deserve the same synagogue. treatment, right? Good question. Would you shoot another Jew? Anyone, whether they're Jewish or not, in this country has the right of self-defense. Now, I believe in the NRA, the National Rifle Association. All right, I'll do another show on that. I don't know. I believe in the right to bear. <laughs> I believe. If the person everyone... were a Jew, would I'll you shoot them? Anybody, if the guy is a Jew, will you shoot him? It doesn't matter what he is. If would right. you shoot him if he were a Jew? Of course I would. Answer the question. Of course I would. Because Good for him. You're a liar. That's consistency, a Rabbi. Liar. Rabbi, at least that's consistency, right? Would you He's shoot the 12 year old? He's a liar. That's inconsistent with everything consistent. he said. Publicly. Hold on a second. He will Listen never up, do Rabbi. violence against another hold Jew. Hold on we a second. Real distinction. Rabbi, hold that. on a second. I don't believe in ever using violence when peaceful means work. If you can grab the guy and he's unarmed, then you turn him into the police. Why haven't you shot Mayor Kahana? Hold on a second. Whom you admit Hold is a racist a and a fascist. I don't Why think... haven't you shot Mayor if Kahana? If he put a gun to my head, I certainly would. If my wife put a gun to my head, I'd kill her. You know, well, what's the big deal? There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with defending one's life and one's people and one's rights. Jewish or non-Jewish, that's what I'm saying. That's you why have you attacked the, right... the people in front of the Heraldo Studios. Rabbi, hold on a second. You attacked them. Yes, I did. You know why? Was it because... a matter of self-defense? I'll answer that. They pulled up in a car. They had the free right, right those Nazis... to address themselves. Even you don't like what I say. they say, and I don't like what they say. You attacked them. That's that correct. is not an act of Good self-defense. Good for you. Good for you. Had Heraldo Although not put those Nazis on, then there would have never been a fight in the first place. Wait a second, I've had those Nazis. Wait a second, I'm not going to do the Geraldo show, but I've had those same Nazis and Roy Innes on this show three times. There's never you been any violence. You controlled the never situation been any here. They didn't. But couldn't have you have violent. controlled it? Let me when answer Mordecai that. Levy was there was the only time there was any violence. Let me answer that. When we showed up, you're correct. There was violence, and I'll say why. Because if German Jews 40 years ago would have beaten the stormtroopers in the streets, there wouldn't have been ovens and gas chambers. There'd be six million John, Jews alive John, today. True. John, you're a survivor. John, you're not a survivor, true. all right, not of the Nazi death camps. Right. You've demonstrated against Nazis your entire life. Do you think Mordecai Levy is doing a service for the Jewish community? I do not think that his road is a good road. I think that he has good intentions. He believes what he is doing is good. Unfortunately, his methods, his approach is not the right one. What's the, the right one? The issue is not to fight or beat up a Nazi or somebody who does something against the law. The issue is to create a climate in this country or in any country where human beings can live together in harmony, in decency. Absolutely. I don't know who it was. Someone once said... Democracy is a dream, security is a myth. And I think what you have just given us is a dream. I don't think we ever get to, as long as you have as many people of varying degrees of mentality. Real vigilance going, all right. in the Jewish community. This is more than a dream. He was a survivor of the Holocaust and in several concentration camps. He has more right to state his views. He has no more right than he you do, He has more so. right to state his no views more right than, than you an do. Irish Catholic and an American-born rabbi. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. No more rights at all. He and has he suffered just, as a victim the beauty of the hands is, of the Nazis. The beauty is, he sir, he has just as many climate. rights. The he beauty is, is the beauty is, Rabbi, he has just as many rights. No more rights. Because 
Had he been in this country in 1940, he wouldn't have been in the concentration camp in the first place. That's what the right said. You if say... He, if he were Japanese after 1941, December 7th, and American Japanese, enough. he'd be in a concentration camp in America. Go ahead, let me hear you. Now, real security... You give your 20 grand, I won't. All right. You can see the 6 o'clock news. Real, the Japanese real. have just bought the Statue At of Liberty. Least, yeah, I'm real, sure you're right. Real security for any minority can only be then if there is a climate of um, decent... Human relations between security, people. Security, I'm what sorry, John. Wait a second, he's Ow. right, all right? Okay. Security for any minority is for enough of us minorities to gather together That's as correct. a unit and become a majority. That is I have Ow. a problem with that. The Jews are only 2% of this country. Under no circumstances can they by themselves ensure their safety. Like any other minority cannot ensure their safety. Our safety lies in a good decent society and human relations in the struggle for human rights and social justice and my goal human beings. Let me, ask, like, let me ask the rabbi. Rabbi, would you, would you allow a guy like Mordecai uh, Levy and his group sanctuary in your synagogue? Do you think he's on the right track in any way, shape, or form? I think he's a nice kid. I don't think that he has uh, particularly deep intellectual or moral insight into the human problems. I am, I am the son of Russian Jewish immigrants. I grew up in Lewiston, Maine. At the age of five, I was beaten up regularly for being a Christ killer by French Canadian Catholics. I tried to convince them at the age of five, how could a five-year-old kid like me kill your God? That was taught by the church for 20 centuries, and it wasn't Hitler only who created the ovens. It was the church that created a climate for 20 centuries which said in Europe, with impunity, it is all right to kill Jews because they killed our God. And for that thank reason, God sir. Thank God those days are over. Thank God they're over, sir. Thank God they're over, sir. And also, I'm sure you'll recognize 10, that over a million Catholics died in correct. those ovens, too. All right? Many of them. Yes, many yes. of them defying the Pope. Many of them defying, defying the Pope. Not the Pope. The Pope did not come out with those words, sir, all right? The Pope also gave sanctuary, if we're going back to Pius, all right? Also gave sanctuary, but waited too long, all right? He waited too long. So there have been a lot of mistakes made, pal, but you That's seem to want mistake. to live in the past. That's 20 you centuries. Want... That's not a mistake. A mistake is something... Do you want me to go into some of the mistakes that the Jews are making? The new Holocaust they're what, committing what on the Jews? West you Bank? The, the Israelis? Israelis? Don't say Jews, say Israelis. Say Israelis. What Israelis. is an Israeli, sir? Is, what is an Israeli? The Israeli government is uh -huh. a sovereign government mm -hmm. which supported has its entirely by American taxpayers at the tune of three billion bucks, and we're not taking care of our own people here. We'll be back in just a second. Come on. I want to come back to the rabbi first because during the commercial break, the rabbi and I were discussing uh, something. The rabbi said that, uh, rabbi, so I don't paraphrase, would you explain what you were talking about, about the two different types? I think there's an overview here, and that is basically that anti-Semitism in America, particularly in America, is an industry. It is and big it's business. on the rise, too. It is, it is big business. We need anti-Semites for major Jewish organizations to survive and thrive. Without anti-Semitism, guys like Mordecai Levy would be out of business. But I think we have to understand that there are two kinds of Jews. And it has nothing to do with a model of reform, conservative, orthodox, or what I am, unorthodox. It has to do with the fact that there are two mentalities. One is the incipient pogrom mentality. The Goyim out there are staying up late at Goyim, night. meaning Christian. They are lighting... Goyim, meaning Christian. Non, no, Goyim. Non -Jews. Yeah. non Jews. Non Jews. Non Jews are staying up late at night trying to figure out what the hell to do with the Jews who are creating 90% of the culture that all of us enjoy in America. How much? And without them. 90%? Without them. And without the anti-Semites. Let, let the man speak. Oftentimes he weaves his own web. And without the anti-Semites, many Jews 
identify their Judaism based on their adversaries. There is a whole other group who believe that Judaism is based on a culture of 5,000 years of justice with compassion, with a worldview of ethics and morality that deserves to survive because it has contributed to the betterment of humanity. And there were such Jews in Germany, and they ended up that, in the so camps. Quiet. You That's what I'm saying. Yet. What Just happened to them? there are two kinds of Christians. One kind of Christian believes in the teachings of Jesus. A simple man, compassionate, talks about love, anti-institutional, anti-establishment, despised the temple in Jerusalem. The last thing that Jesus would have supported was a hierarchy in a Roman Catholic church with a pope. And then there are other Christians who believe not that it's a God of love, but it's a God based on suffering, a dead man on a cross, and a symbol of death. And that is the corollary among Orthodox Christianity to someone like Mordecai Levy, who sees suffering, tyranny, and anti Let me hear this. Let me hear this. Wait a second. Zip it. Damn it. I want to go here to Jerry Prizer. Jerry, let Rabbi. me come to you. First, let me say, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think of uh, Brucey Baby yeah. here? Well, I want to apologize I'm to sorry, all Rabbi. my my Goyim friends for that derogatory term. But pressing on from there, Rabbi, very interesting that you talk about two types of Jews. In Nazi Germany, there were two types of Jews. There was the Juden rat who led his fellow Jews into the ovens. People pacifists, very much like yourself, who went along with whatever went along. That. And then, I resent you then there were the Jews the in the Warsaw Ghetto who used Saturday night specials, which you despise. I didn't and say would I keep out of the hands I'm of the a Jewish U.S. People. Army officer. There are two types of Jews, tomorrow. Rabbi. And I with all due respect, defending myself, you, even against with all, people who I misrepresent you my Jews like you. Lesson. Jerry, you now you ahead. zip it and you listen to me. I had enough of the history lesson. Go ahead. I listen, Dark. now you can listen to me for just a few but seconds. Say something. I'm Where's the beef? I'm about to. Just Where's the beef? Just it up. Let him talk. Your type of Jew is a pacifist. You're the guy with all due respects, Rabbi. I'm not a pacifist. Okay? Who I'm not supported, a pacifist. Let him finish. Who supported come back. the Black Panthers in the 60s with their use of guns. You're the guy that got fired from Columbia University lie. for That's leading the leftist causes, okay? That's a lie. You're no big deal, Rabbi. That's a lie. So, Take your history lesson and shove it. That's a lie. Rabbi, that's a lie. Rabbi, just respond. Rabbi, just go ahead, sir. Let the rabbi respond. That's a lie. Another history lesson, Rabbi. It's a lie. a lie. I won't dignify it with an answer. I, I appreciate that. You were in Columbia Smart. with Mark Rudd and those students seized buildings in the name of protesting Look, the war? Don't be a schmuck. I was chaplain at Columbia University. Oh. And at the time that there was a revolution and i would be honored to believe that three thousand students would listen to bruce goldman and take over buildings You'd what like kind of power do you no, no, attribute no, no, to me you let me wrap what up kind of an analysis of the event you, you weren't you were barely you, born rabbi your bridge rabbi, star hadn't you even participated healed participated with them in that you marched in the 60s fine i'm all for marching i'm not against that the listen. human rights for human rights. All human rights. But now, rights. Mike, all human rights. Human dignity. But listen, Let him finish. Please. Come on. Dignity. Rabbi, dignity. the man won't listen. A Nazi with a swastika. You named love Covington. that stuff, don't Hold you? Hold on, Rabbi. You love it. You don't want to hear an answer. That's Got 43% an of the vote in North Carolina. In this country, Harold Covington, Metzger, who was on this show, 80,000 votes as a Ku Klux Klan leader running for Congress. He won the primary. I say to you, Hitler right. started and with Heil six Kahana members. Won in Israel. I'm not a supporter. Ayal Kahada, who Rabbi, was just kicked out by the Israeli Knesset for being a racist doing? and a fascist. Rabbi Ayal Kahada, he was he was your kicked mentor. Out. Your <laughs> mentor. Zip it I a don't minute. Support him. Zip it a minute, both of you now. All Say right. It again. I Let's hear Kahana. it. Let's no. hear it. You don't support him. No. Tell us why. I like him. Tell us why. I like the guy. All right? I don't support him for one reason. I like the guy because the uh, the cojones. To say what he believes in, right. I don't believe in what he believes in. Right, but I'd that. rather know where my enemy's coming from than where my friends are going, pal. We'll be back in just a second. Let me come back to you just a second. John Rance, 
John Rance, let's get into guns for just one second, because he is not anti-gun, all right? He was a military man. I'm saying the rabbi was not anti-gun. You're a military man. I'm sure you believe in the right to bear arms, all right, as a military man. Let me ask you, if the Jews had had guns in Nazi Germany, would they have survived? If they had guns, they would have done what a human being has a right to do to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. Whether they would survive, I would say no. The entire Jewish population was only one half or one percent. They could never Where? resist Where the was the army in, in Germany. In Germany, the entire Jewish population was, was only one, one half, half of one percent. Come on, John, Germany. where have you been? That, that's one exactly one the figure. Yeah. One half of one percent. All right. The in, total population in America now, and this is the largest Jewish community. Now, at that time, is Germany had a total population six Germany, million. of 60 yeah, million. You well, tell me one half of one percent, which means there were only. 500,000 Jews. Right, correct. Correct. But and in Germany, they killed... How many of them from three, Germany got killed? Three-quarter three percent was the Jewish population, exactly. Now, they could never... Where the hell did the seven million come from? Or, the whole Europe. It was all Europe. Poland, Poland, Warsaw, Russia, Poland. Romania, okay. Hungary. If they, there were more under, than that if you're taking no in Russia. no circumstances what could if, they survive. The only survival for the Jews in Germany or Europe would have been if there would be good, decent human relations Based, built upon human justice, human rights. That right, is Curtis, the Curtis, hey, I'm, 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 listening, I'm, I'm, listening, I'm listening to the same now, old now, violin play with broken strings I've heard for years. Certainly, John Zip and Curtis Sliwa. Has a right. John. <laughs> Curtis. If anyone, if anyone in America, right, there's two people in America who stand out of my mind as great vigilantes. One is Anthony Imperiali. And the leading one, of course, is Curtis Sleewa, the head of the Guardian Angels. What do you think of Mordecai and his group? You speak of resistance, and Jerry mentioned it, Jews fighting back with weapons. The rabbi alluded to it. Mordecai mentioned it. But Mordecai, you're more. You provoke. We saw in that film, you sought out these people, trashed them down, beat them down like dogs. Absolutely. You were provoking a situation. You were as guilty as the KKK Farrakhan's Muslims, provokers of hate. We've gone beyond that. This is the difference, Mort. You see next to me an Arab American. He supports the Intifada. He disagrees with Jewish Americans who are part of the Guardian Angels. They debate. But when it comes to protecting synagogues or mosques or people in need, they put aside their differences, no weapons, no violence, and protect everybody equally. That's the answer. This is what John's calling for. He's got a good point. He's got a great point. I, I respect, I respect what, what you've done, but I say this. I respect one thing about the black community in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh recently. The Just Klan one thing. and the skinheads were going to march. The black community three weeks ago said, if the Ku Klux Klan comes to our neighborhood, they'll march in and they, they won't march out. Now, I say to you, you think in the Bronx or in Manhattan, in Harlem, the black community would let the KKK come in? No way. Not even a peaceful Ku Klux Klan rally. No group would let themselves get walked on. Those skinheads that we fought, who were carrying signs, gassed the Jews. It was in the videotape. Yes, yeah. wait, Not yes, weapons. that's correct. Not weapons. Let me tell signs. you something. Signs I had a which friend... were used very effectively by Mr. Goebbels for years. Now, right? I had a friend named Alan Berg. With all respect to the rabbi and you, I say this. Had Jews in Germany, when Hitler was using words, and marching, and had not yet put people in ovens, and he had not yet risen to power, had Jews killed Hitler, a lot more Jews would be alive today. So, I don't believe in violence unnecessarily, but against the Nazis or the Ku Klux Klan, oh, absolutely. Where, where does it end? Here's an American Arab I'll right here. I'll I'm shake his hand. But you'll disagree with him so vigorously, it would so never go, violently, it wouldn't turn that to it would violence. keep you from working together. I, we have advanced. We know what indiscretions we had in history. I'm a Roman Catholic. I know there were Catholics who condemned Jews as money changers. We are guilty of that along with so many in humanity. But, but, yeah. but to undo the wrong doesn't mean to utilize the same tactics. I respect this man who was in the concentration camp because he should be the first to raise up his hand. Yet he seeks dignity, pride, and a future in which we all work together. Arab, Jew, Christian. <laughs> Tell you Let me just tell you something. That was a beautiful message you just gave. That was a beautiful handshake you guys just made. 
Why the hell don't you have enough guts to run against Ed Koch for mayor in New York City? Huh? <laughs> Jeez, I'm you. Huh? Right. Right. Mark, 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 my wife does need a house. She's getting tired of our apartment. I may take you up on that. Like Let me... Go ahead. What'd I'd you like to say? ask him one question. A right, quickie now. Quickie. You would not allow, in your ranks, white, white racist Ku Klux Klan. I know, I know you have good kids in the group. And you'd never allow neo-Nazis in, because you know they're bad people. You wouldn't allow, let's say, white supremacists said, hey, we want to keep our neighborhood safe. You'd say no to them, because you want people that will protect the community, and that's fine. So understand where we're coming from. We're not fighting him. We're fighting the Nazis, the Ku Klux Klan, and the Farrakhans, and those who say to me... We're going to put you in the ovens a second time. But I all can't. Those, all those people you met, you mentioned Farrakhan. They've cleaned up a drug plague dairy in Washington, D.C. You should support them in that effort and disagree with them and everything else. Not go to war against these people and create even more violence. Because where does it end? Where it's does it end, Mordecai? It's not what you say, Mordecai. It's what you do that we disagree with and the way you do it. You all got to live in the world together, right. Mordecai. And it's getting smaller every day. And you got to be able to tolerate other points of view and be able to reconcile them with your own. I'm willing to hear what you have to say and what he has to say and what he has to say. But one thing, I don't think anyone in this room would be, would be so happy if there was, and there have been, white supremacists in here saying we're going to have a race war against minority groups. And those people were in here. Yeah, let me tell you something. They were in here and that audience trashed them. And that's what the American public at home does. They trash And them. Metzger got 80,000 votes in California. You got a get... lot of sick people no, in no. any Why country. do you get those votes? I'll tell you why. Because there's economic problems, there's racial tension, and Metzger and his hate groups, the Ku Klux Klan, feeds off that. I heard from the audience a word. How about ignorance? Uh, let's our audience speak next. All right, come on. Some of the guests of the Morton Downey Jr. show stay at the Meadowlands Hilton Hotel. All right, Rabbi, Rabbi, on the Larry King show not too long ago with uh, one of those creepheads, skinheads, you made an offer. Wait a second. Zip it, zip it. I want the Rabbi to make the same let me, offer. Let me just preface this. Preface it. I'm I I'm an authority. Shut up, producers over there. Let's do the show in over the here. area of intercultural relationships. That means uh, counseling and therapy with people from different racial, ethnic, religious groups in the performance of intercultural marriages and weddings. Oh come on! I deal every single day with problems of racism from Jews and from non-Jews in my living room and study. I made a deal with Michael Palish. I offered him this, and I'm prepared to offer this to you, Levy. I had breakfast with him the day after the Larry King show, and I said to him, you are a nice-looking kid, you're talented, I think you're redeemable. I'll make a deal with you. Have you ever heard of Alcoholics Anonymous? He said, yes. You ever heard of Gamblers Anonymous? He said, yes. I said, I will get you professional help in New Orleans if you will find, found an organization with me at Mordecai Levy called Racists Anonymous. I'm not a racist. Why don't you guys yes, you me? are. Rabbi, I fought racism. Yes, I are. fought the Ku Klux Klan, did you? With guns in my hand, in Greensboro, did you? I fought them in Fontana when they killed a black telephone repairman. With Rabbi, guns in your hand. Yes. Go to the front of the line. Go to the front With of the line. guns in your hand. You're telling me daddy. Go ahead, front of the line. Go ahead, David. You guys are all fighting for the same thing, right? Why don't you two no, unite with We're each not. other? I'm all for unity, yes. Wouldn't it be I would bring, Rabbi, I invite you to come to my next anti-Klan rally in Queens when the Klan opens up a headquarters. Wait, and you come with us. All. How would you expect people to, to understand the Jews and love them if you hate each other? You know what? I don't hate him, no. I respect... No, that, that's a misconception. We disagree. I love this guy. Personally, I get along with him. I know that he, be, I know that he behaves like an idiot. We, we we Welcome... You didn't know you'd come to the dating game, did you? Huh? <laughs> That's a myth. That is a myth. The rabbi and me are not enemies because he is a fellow Jew, part of my community. 
who I disagree with, but... You disagree I, with well, him how about, everything. How about that young Arab man? Are you friends with My him? Because he is a fellow with, with human. How about course. fellow human? Oh, of course. All right? But, listen, I'm so I'm tired of this Jews, black, Irish... Jew because it's crap. being a good Jew is being family. part of the Let me hear this, young man. Mordecai, you're not being a good Jew because being right. a good Jew means also being tolerant of other people's views. I support also, this Arab American position for a Palestinian state in the Middle East. I'm sure and you have do, for Rabbi. 25 years. You know why? I don't. You know Mordecai, why? Because you Simply. don't own any property on the West Bank. That's why. Yeah, but uh, the, the JDL does. The JDL's buying out all the why. Arabs on the West because Bank. Because I learned to to a long time ago. Can you give me a chance? An Arab mother, a black mother, and an Israeli mother cry just as long and hard Absolutely. for the dead child as does each other. Go ahead, ma'am. Let me hear this lady here. Let me hear this lady. Go I'm, ahead, I'm a Holocaust survivor, and I respectfully disagree with your statement that you made about the new Holocaust in the West Bank. I am for a peaceful solution with the PLO, especially now after they, they recognize Israel. Mm -hmm. But you cannot uh, 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 make such a, uh, a statement that it's not true, because the, this is not a new holocaust in the West Bank. Anytime people are needlessly killed, ma'am, by Arabs, by Jews, by Germans, by Irish, it's a holocaust to the member of the family who loses the person. What about the rioters right? in Newark? The, One person means a holocaust. Were they holocaust. victims of a holocaust? The what? I know, when, when Anthony Imperiali, Anthony Imperiali called for the police to crush the riots in this, in this area in 1967, you're all, all your God bless America types got up light, rightfully saying we want law and order and they, they were right. And you better believe that tanks rolled down the streets in Newark because a certain community said we don't want our homes burned. Now, was that a holocaust that what 30... Do do? What, what community? Do do? The, the Italian American around. community? Yeah. Yeah. Let, me, let me hear the audience, no. alright? Go said, ahead. Let me hear the audience. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. I just like to say I have a lot of intelligent men here all trying to speak together and what you have to realize is until you get together you're not, you can't have people being beaten in the street or this world's going nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't we all start working towards, why do you, the Holocaust happened 45 years ago, why don't, I'm not saying to forget about it but why don't we get past it, why don't we start working towards getting, living together as a group. You know okay. why? Because I'll answer that. 45 years ago, if we start working together to be one group of people, instead of people like you bringing up these groups that are killing other people, you're promoting violence, okay? Promoting you are out there every day bashing other people who are anti-Jews, okay? You're saying that they're anti-Jews, but you're against anybody that is not a Jew. Not okay? true. That Let me hear that from this young lady with the football injury. Come on, ma'am. All right. Mr. Mor Mordecai Mor Levy. Mordecai. Um, you say you want your right. You say your rights are being stepped on, they're being stepped on by these anti-Jews and everything, and then all you're doing is turning around and doing it to them. Is there any way, are, are, is this your solution to the problem here? I'll answer that you. Is, that is his problem. I know another community, that is his solution. excuse me, Italian section of Harlem. When there were riots breaking out, their community, and no one said it was terrible answer to do that, picked up weapons to answer defend themselves. Hold it. Mordecai, what you're answer. finding is more and more of us who are conservative aren't conservative because we want to go out and break people's heads we want to find a solution we want to find a peaceful solution then then if i don't find a peaceful solution and someone comes through my window then i'll blow their face off you want to know, know something why does the nra have millions of new members this year more than any other year before because lots of the liberals who didn't understand the idea of self-defense have woken up to it i believe yeah, unlike some people that are a little bit boorish there's a right of self-defense for our people, sure. for your people, for anyone. There's a difference between self-defense and going totally out and, agree with self and shooting somebody just for the heck totally. of it, just because they Hold blow it. up your... Would it have been right for the Jews in Germany to kill Hitler before he rose to power? Would it have been morally right? Yes or no? It, it would have stopped German the Holocaust. Hitler. What? German military commanders made many attempts on Hitler's life to their credit. I'm asking if it was moral. Remembers, I asked you remember, it was, Jerry? Rabbi, you know John Rance, you're Rabbi. Not, Rabbi. Would it have been moral? Let me, Mordecai, let me hear Jerry. Seven, I'm at it. Let me hear Jerry. Let me address this to the self-proclaimed expert on interpersonal relationship. Rabbi, the problem with pacifist Jews like yourself in this country I'm not a pacifist. is that... Stop lying. Fine. State your case you're an activist yourself. and you're pro-gun. The you problem is, amongst the vast majority of Jews in the country, unfortunately, 
they react to the Why problem afterwards. Why don't you afterwards. tell people that you let have a gun factory you, on the left let side? Let me tell you a Why don't you tell people story, who you are? Okay? Why don't you tell them you have I'll a gun I'll get to it if you let, if you let me see. taking teenagers and showing them how to use firearms. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with showing teenagers how to use firearms? Let me hear this now. Let me hear this now. Yeah, as I said, there's a right way and a wrong thing to do things. Everybody's making very valid points and complaining about the past, but you have to deal with the present and you have to deal with the future, okay? You punch me in the face, I'm gonna come with a knife, you're gonna come back with a gun, and where is it gonna stop? You're doing things the wrong way. Yeah. I'd like to ask you a question. I'd like to ask you a question about your organization. What is the percentage of non-Jews in your organization? Well, we have people in the group who believe in our cause, who are not Jewish, uh -huh. who support, who support, of course, the Jewish organization. The majority the of members are Jewish. Tell Excuse them me. the truth. In the West Coast, sir. The one man operation. Excuse me. Rabbi, an organization. How many members in the JDO? We have How many members in the JDO? We have the United States 3,000 on okay. members. Rabbi, we have a training camp. Don't lie, Rabbi. You're just as bad as them. Pictures that upset you of our training camp. Mordechai, do you ever serve meals to people who need a hot meal? Do you ever go in and sit down with AIDS victims and comfort them? Do you ever help Did little Did you ever sit up till 4 o'clock in the morning you form regarding synagogues that were being desecrated? Do you sit down rabbi, with Arab Americans and talk about how you well, can see, resolve rabbi, problems? see, Rabbi, you go you? and go the easy route. I go a little more difficult. I agree. It's more difficult to sit up till 4 in the morning guarding Give synagogues. me the camera here, will you? Because I'm tired of listening to this garbage. We'll be back in a second. Let's head back to the audience right now, sir. I just want to say that all, all these years of violence and stuff really seems to be getting nowhere at all. And unless the, all these races get together and do something about it, this world is never going to be a better place. You got it, pal. Let me hear this gentleman. You know, I think, I think the, the great late John Lennon said it best, give peace a chance. Who was the peace, Yoko Ono? <laughs> Go ahead. You're just as bad as them. You promote violence. And I don't know where you get off saying, like, when, uh, you go... <laughs> your big chance, your big chance, and you blew it. Go ahead. <laughs> I just want to say, my baby, if Daddy. you, if you go on these patrols and all this, I want to know, how many guys did you kill, personally? The fact is, we have never... No, not the fact. I want to know how many guys We have never killed, killed anyone. You have never killed nobody. I want to know, what is it? What is a gun? If you have a gun, or if you don't got a gun, what does that make you? I think it's better to have a gun and not need why? it than to need it and not have oh, it. Oh, so why? I want the gun. I want the gun. Right. And let me tell you, you man, you're a real fox. <laughs> I feel that you're antagonizing the whole situation, and yet you blame a lot on the Ku Klux Klan and the whites. Well, what better are you than they? I mean, you're doing the same you know thing. What? You're provoking violence. A mugger violence. hits you and you hit him back, you're both using force, but there's a difference. He's a mugger and you're not. There's a difference between violence of the aggressor and violence of the defender. Yeah, but what gives you, know, you a right to shoot you know, somebody? No, the only time, I, I, I mean, think where we're making a mistake here, is I think the only time there's a right to shoot somebody is when your life is threatened by that person. Yeah, but Otherwise, he's provoking, huh? I mean, Now, if he goes out and provokes, he goes out and provokes, he goes out and provokes, and whoever the hell he provokes has the right to nail him, too. Right, All right? And if we keep doing that, we all get nailed. So get 